I kept, you know, nagging a little bit about an architects review board, and our then town attorney said, no, the, you, have, you can only have it in a historic district like Alexandria had. Nowhere else the state legislature does not permit it. So I got Charlie, and then we got a new town attorney, John G. and Frito, wonderful guy. And I said, John, you know, I've got this idea, and other places have it, and Charlie, you don't know what Maryfield looked like then, uh, began to think about it, and the two of them got together and started, and I marched myself off to a library, law library near my husband's office in Washington and started reading up other places around the country that had, you know, ARBs that were not associated with an historic district. Of course, they were states that, you know, Wisconsin, for instance, well, you couldn't find anything diff more different than Wisconsin and, and Virginia. But to make long story short, uh, my husband enlisted the help of a member of um, the Virginia legislature who lived in McLean. And he thought, he said, this is a great idea. So he came over two or three nights to the house and we talked about what an ARB could do for community. And the long story is that the town wrote an ordinance and they had to go before, you know, Richmond to try to get permission to do this. And they ran into some headwinds there. But finally, Vienna's proposal for an architect review board that did not relate to a historic district passed. And I remember standing in the corner of the governor's office that morning when he signed the bill. I'm way back in the corner. Uh, and afterwards, my husband said, Mills Godwin was governor then, quite conservative. Charlie said, you know, I don't think he knows what he signed. <laughs> and you were know, thinking, my God, Mills Godwin is going to sign this. So this is an example of what citizens can do. This ordinance became the template for Fairfax City, Town of Leesburg, Falls Church, one by one, they all said, now it's legal. You could have an architecture review board permitted without an historic district, and one by one, they all adopted practically the copy of Vienna's.